Hey y'all, welcome to the video. Today's episode, the new shop finally got built, which we are approaching right now. Uh, I know the first video we moved into that little red shop. I didn't say anything, kind of slipped my mind. But at the time, I was having a shop built, and it wasn't done yet. There was still some lunch cord that needed to be done, and a few other things. It ain't fully done yet. I thought it was going to take a little bit longer, but they called me up and said, Hey, you're good. Everything's done. I was like, sweet. So here it is, the shop. I'm probably going to park my trailer here for the time being and get the car out of it. But let's go take a look at it real quick, y'all. So went ahead and moved everything over. I did make another trip back to the to Midnight or Outlaw, I guess you call it. And I picked up the 23, the big uh, the big tire car, and I traded my low trail, vulnerable trailer I had for that little trailer right there. It works just perfect. Let's go ahead and come on in here. Just do some pictures up of some of my buddy's cars. Just do some pics up, you know? Just to fill in some gaps. I didn't want to throw my car up there yet because I don't have any good pictures yet. But hopefully I'll have good pictures soon. But this shop is way bigger than the last shop. It's a lot more room out here. Like, look at this. We're not cramped yet. And I have all my trailers out here. In the spot for him. But with that being said, y'all, everything's in the description if you would like to join the server and play with us. Let's go ahead and get duct tape out first because I was testing it before I moved everything over. Uh, if you're wondering who helped me vet and uh, Reaper helped me move everything over, we kind of spent about, I think it was three days moving everything over. It wasn't bad. But if you missed the last episode, go check it out. You would know this. Oh. You would know this car went on a uh, street race and uh, put. It's pretty good. Pretty good. Kind of want to get everything unloaded first. But the thing different about this shop is this shop has a lean to, so I can put a race trailer under. It has a little shop over there, which I love. So, we're probably just going to pull this probably right here for the time being. Right over here. So, we'll probably keep the cars that. Oh, uh, let's go ahead and we will get the mud truck off next. So we'll just go in order. We'll go far back. Uh, let's go ahead and get the mud truck off. So Mark car off. And the golf cart off. Uh, mud truck, and don't think it's gonna fit in the shed. Don't, it might fit under there if it fits under the lean tube. I might throw it under there. It does fit under the lean tube. I kinda wanna throw it towards the back. I wanna get my race trail and throw it under here first. So I'll just leave this back here for the time being. Back here in the dirt. So I do want to get my race trailer in here because that's where the race trailer is going to go in. We'll see how much room I got left. Uh, smart car and golf car, they can go inside the shop just because they're not going to take up much space. If any space at all. Get the door to open up. We'll probably just throw them right here. Throw the smart car in the back and then throw the uh, golf car right in front of it. Good old smart car and golf cart, y'all. <sighs> I knew this shop was going to be down. I would have waited to move down here because it's only been like two weeks. That's about it, y'all. Alright. Ooh, Lord. How to itch. And I did get my 28 foot back. I did finally go get that. And that is it. Alright, so uh, we'll go over it again because I'm just going to go ahead and talk about it. This is the 450. I don't I don't think I showed any videos of it until the move-in day. Had, a, had her ordered and she's died. I do have the stock bumper with the valance and a brush guard for it if I ever decide to take the ranch hand off. But I'm not sure. It might flip-flop here and there. Right now, that's probably going to be like the second tow pig. 
that's Toe Pig 1, this is Toe Pig 2. If anything ever happens, I like to have a truck. It's actually a 350. It's actually a 3... What is... Sure thought it was 450, it was a 350. It tows good. Right here is the work truck with the bobcat and the cat with the 38 foot. I use this setup right here just to clear land. That's what I do for work. I just clear land and all that stuff. Let's get the Baja truck, I guess you would call that off. And let's get that sent off. So this one we will go and shove in the little bay back there. Missed, missed last episode, if you missed the moving day episode, this is one of the vehicles I picked up also on the way down here that I traded out. And the army mud truck, I got rid of my uh, mud looking car for this, that thing. No, this time. This time. Well, I don't know that. This thing, right? Not this thing, the mud truck. Look at that, perfect. Now my vehicles can be under something. And by the time I probably shove everything under something. Should be good. For the time being, we're just gonna throw this truck out of the way. Throw it in a parking spot. That's where I'll keep some of my trucks at. Let's go put the ramp up and we'll back the trailer under there so that way we know what we're working with. Then we'll finish unloading everything. I just wanna see what I'm working with first. If I really wanted to, I can fit two trailers on here if I wanted to. But I'm not gonna do that. I'm just gonna leave this in the middle because it's my prime rice trailer. Which we picked up in the moving day. Sold my gooseneck for it. Look at that, perfect. And the toe pick can stay connected. Look at that, y'all. 450 is always gonna be under something. Yeah, and there ain't no room. Good thing I didn't throw the truck under there. Go ahead and put them ramps down with them and go down. Um, do I want to move that? Not yet. Let's go ahead and unload the Audi and the uh, Open B mod. Debating on selling it if I, if I go asphalt racing because I am having an asphalt car built. So I don't know if I'll keep this car or not because, you know, I ain't that good at dirt racing. Oh, she's still on small tires, I think. Or did I throw it back on big tires? No, she's still on small tires. I thought they were back on big tires for some reason. But, did get some testing in with this car. On small tire. Uh, big tire is kind of a work in progress still. Gonna put this inside the shop too. There we go. That's kind of like the full on race car. That's carbon fiber, fiberglass, everything basically. And one, we got the, one more car in the 28th foot, which is the Fairmont on a radial. You know, street car life. But she'll be doing some radial racing. I want to throw this car out. Probably throw this car right here for the time being. Actually, that is a good spot for it right here. Right there, that's a good spot for y'all. Sorry for the mic right there, y'all. Sorry about that. And, um, uh, let's get the Fairmont out real quick. You know, I should probably put the ramps down, but I did not put the ramps down. Just kind of like, did my own thing. And that's everything. Oh, Lord. I forgot, she is a little spicy. Which this car is running. I don't know. Yeah, I did. Yeah, I had to finish up some wiring. So I did finish the wiring and she runs great. This will be her spot. Alright, so let's get all these trailers situated. Alright, so mud truck. Uh. My truck, you're gonna hang around back of the shop for now. 
And whenever I do regular videos, y'all, these vehicles won't be here. This I just like to do at least one or two videos showing all the uh, cars out here. So that way you see what is, like, um... So you see what I own, basically. Let's get this car off. And we will, um... Get this thing posted and sell it, hopefully. This car did win a lot of races. She's not slow. Hey, that now. Ooh. I don't think I'm going to be able to climb the back up there, am I? Oh, yeah, there we go. She can do it. Yeah, probably should put this on the side of the shop, but we're just going to put it out here for now. For the time being, once we sell it, we can put something else in here. Alright, let's go shut the door. Uh, probably put the, uh... Probably the 6 0 under there. Alright, let's put the ramps up on this trailer. I don't feel like waiting for it. Oh. I don't feel like waiting for the ramps to go up. Make a U turn. I do like how I got all this space back here. This was probably where the trailer would go for the time being. Let's move the six up. Let's back this girl up like right here. And we'll finish parking this baby up. Right like right here. I do want to leave this truck inside because this is a nice truck. Well, I want truck is nice, but this is like one of my. I'm gonna keep inside. Oh lord! A lot of people doing up the call, but you ain't gonna be able to hear me all because right now I'm deaf, so that way I have a good time to talk to y'all and y'all have a good time to like listen. <laughs> so probably leave the open trailers up there. I get like the goose next. Put the toter home over there at the other trailer, probably. Actually, what I will do is, uh, back this over here for the time being. Get the toter home placed over there where I want it. Shouldn't the toter home be under there? Instead of the forfeiting? Ah, it'll be fine. Oh, just leave the door open, I guess. So I'll probably place her right next door. Oh, oh, she was not making it of that, dude. Was she? Was she, y'all? Oh, she did not want to make it of that. Oh, look at that. The same link. Yeah, she is not going to own that land too, because she won't fit. And then we will shove the stacker. Oh, no, don't get in the stacker. Get in the in the pickup truck for the stacker. Then if she fits in there, that's where she'll go. And then we have placement for everything. It's like the going to be the new rock. Name the rock, y'all. <laughs> oh, yeah, she'll fit be tight but she should fit I say she fits there you go she's in there a little tight but I can definitely move over the trailer a little bit more uh actually I'd rather have this truck under there under the uh, cover actually in the 6 though. Six O doesn't deserve to be under that. Rather my dream truck be under something. No, oh, she doesn't fit. That'd nah, be fine. So work truck will stay out there around front because that's the truck I'll use a lot more than anything. Well, the trailer at least. This trailer I don't have a spot for yet. But what I might do is just kind of 
put it on back, I guess. Oh, that's where the mud truck is. We'll back it in over here, y'all. We'll get a spot for everything. Yeah, because this trailer, I'll use this trailer. I'll probably put the white, end up putting the white one back here. There we go, that thing's got a spot. Oh, I just didn't realize I forgot to uh, put the, uh, oh, tune on. Uh, no, give her a narrow wheels and it's like, there we go, look at that. Doesn't look as gay. Probably just put these out front for now. There we go. There we go, I think everything has a spot now. Everything definitely has a spot, y'all. So this is everything I have. We'll go through it real quick since we're coming towards the end of the video. This is the 73. Uh, behind it, we have the 38 foot with the Bobcat and the Cat. Right next to it, we have the 2019 F350 single cab King Ranch Doolin. Uh, behind it, we have a 48 foot Diamond C trailer. Love the trailer. It's even got lights on there. Look at that. Look at that. Perfect. Look at that. Look at that. Lights. <laughs> Wind. Perfect. Uh, if we go over here, we have my little kind of 2000s beater truck. Like, really, beater. Like, I'll probably choose to drive this truck out of any of these trucks just because if it breaks, I really don't care. We have one of my grandpa's trucks, which I bought from him because I traded the gray 7.3 we had and took that instead. Kind of wish I didn't do that. I missed. I got a 7.3 right there. Let's go over to the little shed we have our 06 cat eye uh, pre-runner truck right next door we have our 06 gmc sigai dream truck dream truck basically next door we have our old previous big tire y'all know this car it's the car i had before the audi right here is my little 20 foot uh non-branded trailer with just rails and a ramp double axle can haul anything basically well most anything, so if I need to go to like a job just for skid steer, I can use it. Right here we have my 2015 uh, two car stacker. So this is the one I'll probably. I don't know that car fits too now. I don't know. Shuffle. I might let my buddy use this trailer because he's been looking for a trailer. Because that trailer over there ain't going nowhere. We have my 2021 Ren Freightliner Renegade Toter Home. I kind of use this when we go on long trips, like out of town and everything. But behind it, we have the uh, 20, uh, 28 foot, 28 foot triple uh, double axle. It might be triple axle. It is triple axle. Okay, triple axle behind it. Next door, we have the 2019 F450 Lariat. Yeah, she ain't got the fancy seats. She got the cloth seat. Like, well, not cloth. I don't know why I don't use that truck. The truck's like King Ranch seat. Way more comfortable. This truck just sits slower. Yeah, this truck sits better. <laughs> Behind it, we have my brand new, I would like to say that's a 38 foot. Yeah, that's definitely a 38 foot. Because they sent me the wrong papers on it. Yes, this, <laughs> this is a 2024 38 foot. It has my number up there, VP Racing, because they are one of my sponsors. My YouTube and strip of glitter on the back. That is going to be it for the outside, but once we walk inside the shop, we are greeted with our Fairmont, you know, has a 427 small block in her, full exhaust radial car. Right behind it, we have our golf car and smart car. Right next to them, too, we have my 2020, 2023 chassis, Audi, has a... Uh, Big block, it's right now some small tires, but I do have a set of big tires for it. Right next door to that is the car that y'all kind of know and know more of is duct tape. The Fox Body that used to be a regular Fox Body that I put a four eye front clip on. God, getting tired saying everything. Right here we have my 2022 chassis Open B mod. You know it's got the number on there, name. Fuck around, find out. Got a few, like, just normal sponsors. Dirty South Speed Shop was one of these shops I had. 
but I moved so that shop is no longer open because I started a clear a clear business. And then the final thing is my 2023 F250. Oh wait, that's, that's 350? God, I'm getting these things wrong. 2023 F350. But that's going to be it for now, y'all. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and probably go out to the dirt race, watch some dirt racing, because see what they can destroy, because there is one going on. But other than that, I'll catch you in the next one. Later.